Well, hello true Mexico friends. This is Paul, an English guy, showing you Mexico through my eyes. Kappa! Whoa! That was Hollywood's version of the streets of Mexico City. This is my version, which is more of an accurate representation. And yes, today I am talking about how unfair Hollywood is to Mexico. And why am I making this video? Well, I believe that the power of Hollywood greatly impacts the perception of Mexico to people all around the world in a negative way. Take me, for example. That Man of Fire clip you just saw is the kind of thing I was seeing in the movies about Mexico City before I came here. There were 24 kidnappings in Mexico City in the last six days. Now, I am not saying bad things don't happen here. Violence is no joke in Mexico. But Hollywood makes you think that every time you step outside in Mexico that you are in some kind of war zone full of bandits, which is total nonsense. Movies like Babel, Traffic, Get the Gringo all show the crime side of Mexico. The list goes on and on and for many years. And if you're Mexican, feel free to share below the movies that really annoyed you. And what I just talked about really is not fair. If I was Mexican, I would be even more annoyed seeing my country represented in that way. And you know what is also unfair? It's that the Mexican government actually has to pay Hollywood movie studios to show a more positive side of Mexico rather than the violent stereotypes. It's been alleged that Mexico paid MGM, the makers of James Bond, up to $20 million in the form of tax incentives to show the good side of Mexico in the James Bond movie Spectre. You had no authority. None. Mexico City. Now, the really annoying thing about this story for me is that Mexico was heavily criticized by the international media for allegedly doing this. Mexican people even criticized the government for hiding Mexico's problems and using taxpayers' money. But no one mentioned the reality that Mexico never receives fair treatment from Hollywood. It's crazy that Mexico allegedly even had to pay money to the Spectre movie for the right to show cultural festivals and modern skylines instead of the violent stereotypes. It's also worth noting that all countries offer incentives to movies to come to their country, show it in a positive light as a way to boost tourism. But of course, it was Mexico that got punched in the media for allegedly doing this. And by the way, guys, my real experience here in Mexico has been cultural festivals, modern skylines, and a lot more great stuff. Definitely not the drug cartel violence. But at the end of the day, when someone who wants to go home and watch a movie, they switch off from work, turn on Netflix, and they are entertained by seeing drug lords, corrupt police, etc, etc. That's what sells movies. The problem is that the Hollywood reality and the actual reality starts to merge as one in people's minds. The next thing I want to talk about is how Mexican people are shown in Hollywood movies. And I think many of you watching already know what I'm talking about here and it's something that annoys you too. Whenever Mexicans are shown in Hollywood movies, they are more than often portrayed as service workers, such as housemaids, gardeners, pool cleaners, or even gang members and drug lords. And I think the most offensive movie ever 
to a Mexican. It's one which kind of brings all the Mexican stereotypes together in one movie, and that is A Day Without a Mexican. We have lost our Mexicans. A Day Without a Mexican. I woke up and my husband was gone. And my husband he is a Mexican, and he would never leave without his teeth. Every explanation needs to be considered. Forget about parking your cars at valet. And if you haven't seen this movie, well, there's been a so-called natural disaster where all the Mexicans have left and there is no one to do all the manual labor jobs. It's shocking and disgusting that this movie was only made in 2004, not really that long ago. And it really brings together just how Hollywood unfairly portrays Mexican people. Now, many Mexicans do work in service jobs in the United States. However, the reality is that so many Mexicans in the US and of course in Mexico are in high level professional jobs, including directing movies and winning Oscars in Hollywood. This is what's interesting guys, in front of the camera Mexico gets awful treatment from Hollywood, however behind the camera Mexico is in fact having wild success, in fact it's been triple success. For the last three years a Mexican has won best director at the Oscars for the movies Gravity, Birdman and The Reverend. So guys. There you have it. My opinion is that although Mexico is having success in Hollywood in terms of creative talent doing well there, the negative Mexico stereotypes that Hollywood pumps out to the world basically to make easy money has a strong negative impact on how people think of Mexico and that really isn't fair. Okay guys, enough of me talking, now it's your turn. Let me know down in the comments below your feelings about the topic. And if you did enjoy this video, please do share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. This really does help me and the channel. And if this is your first time watching True Mexico, please do subscribe. It'd be great to have you in the True Mexico community. So I'm Paul, this is True Mexico. Hasta luego.